Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for Intermediate Film Sound at the Los Angeles Film School. This tutorial is going to show how to import an OMF or AAF file into a Pro Tools session that is already open. Pro Tools will treat OMF and AAF files the same way, so this process will be the same for either one. I'm going to demonstrate it using an OMF file, but if you had an AAF file that would work the same way that this does. I currently already have a session open with a video in it and I've already synced the Pro Tools timecode to the video's timecode. The video editor has supplied me with an OMF which contains all of the dialogue for this video and even some music. The dialogue should be split out onto different clips and even possibly on separate tracks and this makes things easier as a dialogue editor because you want to be able to manipulate each line of dialogue separately if needed. We'll begin by doing an import session data. If you go to file and choose import and session data or there's a keyboard shortcut for this which is shift option I. This brings up the import selection window. Be careful with the import functions in Pro Tools as they use similar keyboard commands. If you accidentally hit the wrong modifiers you might be asking your computer to look for a different type of file such as video or audio. So be sure that this displays the type of file you're trying to import right here. It says choose a file to import session data from. In this folder I have an OMF which corresponds to the video that's in my session. I'm going to choose that OMF file. The import session data window opens up and there's a few settings to check in this window. First, let's make sure that we're set on audio media options to copy from source media. OMF files will rarely contain any video information in them so the video media options isn't really that important right now. Next we're going to select the tracks that we want in our session and they've already been selected by default so we don't have to change that. In the bottom left section of this window there are some options that deal with clip gain, volume automation, and even rendered audio effects. Whether you want to leave these checked or not is going to depend on your trust with the person who supplied this OMF to you. In general, video editors are not audio experts and they don't work extensively with audio. So I'm not really going to trust anything in this section from a video editor unless I know them really well and I can actually trust that from them. So I'm going to turn these things off. The last thing we really need to check is in the upper right corner of this window under the timecode mapping options. In this case, the audio and the OMF should line up with the video as long as it's playing back at the right timecode. Since the video in my session is already synced up with timecode, I'm going to select maintain absolute timecode values. Now we can hit OK. Now you can see the tracks that come into my session here. And as a dialogue editor, you can now start to go through and edit the dialogue for the video, possibly getting rid of things we don't need and maybe even muting temp music or temp sound effects or any of that kind of stuff. But for our purposes here, we're just going to play a second or so and make sure that the video and audio are in sync with each other. It states here. That looked good to me. And there we have it. We now have an OMF in our Pro Tools session. Happy editing.